Hey everybody, my name's Demi, and this is my first Source Filmmaker tutorial. Today we'll be talking about fixing transparent items and other models in Source Filmmaker. So here we have a degreaser model. It seems alright right now because we actually haven't enabled ambient occlusion. So if we take it on, you can see it's transparent. You can actually see the walls of the map right through it. That's not good. So I'm going to talk about how to fix this right now. What you want to do is, first off, find a model that obviously is transparent, as you can see the greaser. We're going to show the game model in our explorer, and it's going to show off in your TF folder. So here's all the model files, the VTX, the physics models, all that fun stuff. You actually want to go one folder back, take the entire folder, copy that, and then we're going to go over to our desktop and just paste it. Eh, it's easier if I just go here. Yeah. Now we're going to open up a program called uh, Crowbar. Crowbar is a really useful program. It's a model decompiler. I'm going to put the link in the description, so don't worry about that. So what we want to do is browse, and we're going to go to desktop, uh, cdegreaser, cdegreaser.mdl. You can actually just take all of the default, file, uh, default settings, and you'll be fine. Just hit decompile, and there you go. Now what we want to do is go back into that folder we made, and you'll see this new folder, decompiled. Uh, over here, this is a file, uh, the QC file, which basically talks about how is the model going to function, what kind of properties will it have. So you can see like all the level of details. You want to use Notepad or Notepad++ on this. So we're just going to go down to, say, any line, and we're just going to type in these two lines. Mostly opaque, don't forget the dollar sign and spelling, that's pretty important. Enter, new line, dollar sign, ambient boost. So now we want to save that, just make sure that's saved, let me just... Alrighty. Now we're going to go back in Crowbar. Not only does Crowbar decompile, but it also compiles. So, we're going to go and select our cdegreaser.qc. And you might have to actually set up Source Filmmaker for this. It's really easy, you just add one, name the game, your game info text, uh, which in this case, you'll find it right here. And your model compiler, which is where your... Uh, in this case, it's the game bin. So we're going to save that and close it. Okay, so now that we're done with here, we're just going to compile. Alrighty, so now that's compiled, we're actually going to go and take a look. That should be in our user mod folder, your mod models, weapons, C models, and you'll see C degreaser right here. This is the one that we just made. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're actually going to restart Source Filmmaker. And just go and boot it back up. Let me just... You can also just quit out Crowbar at this point. And here we go, we're just gonna open it back up. And as you can see, our degreaser is now fixed. Ambient occlusion is totally fine if we actually show ambient occlusion. You can see that... Okay, sure, I don't have exactly great amp, uh, AO settings right now. But you can see it's definitely there. You can't. It's no longer transparent, and it actually looks really nice. There you go. That's how you fix transparent models in Source Filmmaker. It'll work for pretty much any other model. You have, say, the prehistoric pullover for uh, our latest Halloween event. That's all fixed. Um, actually, the thing is, with all class items, you are gonna have to decompile and recompile all nine. Yeah. Bizarre Bargain, Fixed. This will work with pretty much anything. There you go, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial, and let me know what you guys think in the comments or whatever. This is my first tutorial, so I I'm really shaky about this. So sorry if this isn't super amazing. Thanks for watching, see ya.